Welcome back to part 2 of 4 of the Parasitology Lecture Series on Coccidians. For this lecture, we will be talking about Cyclospora. Please watch out for the highlighted words here. Prepackaged salad mix, raspberries, probably can also include basil and cilantro there. Recovering fully, and 7 weeks. So these are the key words. Let's get started. The causative agent for cyclosporiasis, the disease caused by cyclospora, is of course a protozoan from the genus Cyclospora, primarily Cyclospora cayatanensis. Very similar to Cryptosporidium, it is a unicellular coccidian, however its cysts are larger than Cryptosporidium cysts. This is the life cycle of Cyclospora, again very similar to Cryptosporidium, the life cycle is generally a circular life cycle. When a human ingests sporulated oocysts in contaminated food and water, the sporozoites inside the sporocyst exists, meaning goes out of the cyst in the gut lumen and invade the enterocytes of the epithelium of the duodenum and jejunum, very similar to cryptosporidium life cycle. So let's try to zoom in. Trophozoites subsequently undergo both sexual and asexual reproduction. Again, similar to what happens in cryptosporidium. Zygotes are formed through sexual reproduction, producing unsporulated oocysts, which are shed in the feces. So you can see here, the end product of reproduction is an unsporulated oocyst. This is in contrast to cryptosporidium, which produces sporulated oocysts. Unsporulated oocysts are not infectious. They need to sporulate in the environment for about one or two weeks to become infective to a host. So once unsporulated oocysts contaminate fruits, vegetables, even drinking water, they may sporulate there. And once sporulated, they become infective. And if sporulated oocysts are ingested by the human body, then the life cycle is complete. The symptoms of cyclosporiasis are very similar to cryptosporidium diarrhea. However, cyclosporiasis can be seen in both immunocompetent and immunocompromised individuals, which is in contrast to cryptosporidium. In endemic countries, asymptomatic carrier states can be present. Diagnosis of cyclosporiasis is similar to cryptosporidium infections, usually is through the visualization of oocysts in stools. Formalin either concentration technique can be used to concentrate and isolate cyclospora cysts in stool. And visualization can be done using UV fluorescence or, or differential interference contrast microscopy under wet mount. Similar to cryptosporidium infections, modified acid fast or safranin stains can also be used. Cyclospora infections are usually self-limiting, primarily in immunocompetent individuals. However, there is a high rate of recurrence of symptoms even without reinfection. So treatment may be recommended using trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole combination drugs. As alternative, ciprofloxacin can be used. Prevention and control of cyclospora is very similar to cryptosporidium prevention and control. Washing your hands properly, especially when preparing food, drinking safe water, and of course, basic sanitation and education. So how do you wash and cook your food properly? The US FDA and CDC recommends the following actions to prevent cyclospora infections. Wiping your food, canning your food, and freezing your food. Wiping is recommended since cysts tend to stick to fruits and vegetables. Canned and frozen products are never implicated in disease outbreaks. Sporulation does not occur in extremes of temperatures. Therefore, freezing and, of course, cooking prevents sporulation, therefore preventing infection. Cyclospora outbreaks are usually linked to contaminated fruits and vegetables. In North America, contaminated cilantro and raspberries are the main causes of cyclospora outbreaks. Basil and lettuce are also common sources of infections. Now let's try to look at a more recent article regarding cyclospora outbreaks. So here is an article 
by Almeria et al. 2019, the journal Microorganisms. Very apt. If you go down, 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 down the article. There is a good table here, table number one, which shows the positive reports and surveillance studies on cyclospora and cyclospora oocyst detection in fresh produce worldwide. As you can see, multiple countries are implicated in some outbreaks of cyclosporiasis, and the food type associated with it are fruits and primarily vegetables. You have lettuce, lettuce, you have arugula, parsley, green onion, tomato, salads, basically all the salad vegetables that you can think of may be associated with cyclospora outbreaks. And that ends the short lecture on cyclospora infections. For our next topic, we will be talking about cystoisospora. See you then. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, feel free to share this video. And don't stop learning.